now because I'm on like a thousand. Yo, it's been uh it's been a rough couple of days, huh? Yeah, man. I was just saying that. I was like, it's kind of depressing, really. Uh, yeah. To be black in America, it's pretty depressing right now. I know people like our culture and they like our music and our swagger and all that stuff, but it's, it's moments like this when you're like, damn, being black isn't as all cracked up to be as you, you know, no. you think it is. It's no, it ain't. Fucking, it's real fucked up. And uh, not that I want to go into it because it's, it's a meme going on around here. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. What's name just just switched on me? I switched. Yeah, my audio for some reason. I hear you. Yeah, no, I just but I don't. It came through the computer, then it back out. I don't know. I hit something, but okay. um, now nah, go ahead, continue. I yeah, I was like, me going on when they like uh, the silence from your non-black friend speaks volumes or some shit. Did you see that? No, not yet. Yeah, and I'm like, they're basically saying whoever's non-black that isn't speaking or that they're saying a lot by not speaking. I'm like, okay, well, I don't see any black elites really speaking. Uh, I know Beyonce reposted something. Yeah. Uh, Jay Diddy posted something. But where's Oprah? Where's Lizzo? Lizzo, her big, not to say she's elite, but her big husky ass, she's from Minnesota. Isn't it? That's where the bell is from. I now think so. The, now it's the time to do something for attention. You know what I mean? Right. That speaks values to me. When you got the elitist, the people that black folks worship, you know, they worship the ground they walk on. They'll they'll do anything for these people, and they quiet because they're compromised. They're, they're the the big dollar corporation businesses own these niggas, and they not saying shit. You know, this is true. So Oprah's the closest thing to a white person speaking for us that we could probably get. Yeah, and that bitch don't say nothing. Nah, so. she don't. So for those of y'all. <laughs> at home or if you've been living under a rock, if you don't know what uh, he's referring to, uh, the Minneapolis police murdered a, a man by the name of George Floyd on camera. When was this? A uh, couple days ago? Was it Monday? I think it was Monday. I think it was Monday, yeah. It was right after we released um, the episode. So when you guys watch the episode and wonder why we didn't touch on it, that's why, because it was recorded um, prior to that. But so he was um, allegedly George Floyd was suspected of forgery, uh, yeah. forging checks and having counterfeit money. Mm-hmm. They didn't know that uh, forgery and counterfeit money was a death sentence in America. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, Dylan Roof killed nine people in a church. And they took that nigga to Burger King. And the Burger King gave him a bulletproof vest. And then there was another boy, uh, you know, at all of these mass shootings these white boys be doing. It was a white boy like last year shot up a Madden tournament in Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, I remember that. Not like twelve people. They fucking they, they didn't touch him. Took his ass to Chick Fil A, probably. Yeah, he's still at home breathing. So I mean, he in jail breathing or whatever. But you know, right? Rules are different for us. Un- unfortunately, it is. And uh, this cop, they haven't released the cop's name because I was did. looking for it. Oh, you know it. What's um, his name? Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably. <laughs> move the damn uh because there's a meme going around with his name i think it's is it Derek? sounds like it it might be but anyway so that cop had his knee on this man's neck for nine mm-hmm. minutes nine yeah. fucking minutes and the part that pisses me off right is every time we go through one of these situations with um police and unarmed black men <clears throat> excuse me dying it makes me wonder, like, who are these police that they're getting? Like, if you're that unprepared or that weak, that much of a punk, that uh, you have to put your knee on a man's neck to stop him from moving because you're afraid, you don't you don't need to be a cop. No, but in that case, with that guy, and like I say, I, I should have jotted the shit down because they got his name out there. They got a list of, of uh, basically crimes that he's committed as a police officer that he didn't get, you know, any trouble for where he's known for being a racist. He's known for discriminating towards cops. And the, his attorney that he has is the same attorney that helped uh, get that cop out that killed uh, Philandro Castell. Is that his name? The guy really? That killed, oh, a couple of years ago in Minnesota, same thing. Damn. The, guy, the attorney that got him off is going to represent him. So they got this whole guy's resume, and he's basically... Uh, and that's my question to the Minnesota, Minneapolis police. If I had to, why the fuck are y'all employing people that 
that are blatantly racist and then putting them in black neighborhoods. You should yeah. be putting cops in black neighborhoods. But unfortunately, you know what it comes down to when these cops will be, <clears throat> the black cops will do the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like the black cops feel like they got more to prove to the people in the police force than they do the people that they are paid to serve and protect. Some of them. I wouldn't say all of them. Well, no, not all of them, but majority. You know what I mean? Like, and and it sucks that I have to do it like that. Some of us, ignorantly, we kind of look at black cops like sellouts anyway. Yeah. (laughs) Like one of my friends from high school, he became a cop. We kind of give him a hard time about it. But ideally, honestly, I would feel more comfortable with black cops that look like us, that are familiar with us, that aren't afraid of us in our neighborhoods versus, you know, hick, honky tonk white boys who fucking got Confederate flags hanging up on their wall at the crib. You know what I'm saying? Right. And they're looking at black and brown people as we're beneath them. And if we yeah. don't do as they say, they have the yeah. right to, to kill and us. I don't understand what white people is. If, if you feel like your black people are beneath you, why do you fear somebody that's beneath you socially? If I feel like you're socially not on my level, why the fuck do I have any fear of you whatsoever? Right. It's like being an ant or, you know what I'm saying? A fucking bug. Like, motherfuckers, but motherfuckers feel that way about spiders. You, you know what I'm saying? Like they'll I'm see not, a spider. I, and yeah, but I'm just, I just doesn't make any sense. If you know you're, you're socially above, you're on the, the high, you know, the hierarchy, you're up here. What the mm-hmm. fuck are you scared of us for? We can, we don't fuck with them. Show me right. a video of us fucking with white people. We mind our business. We try, to, we try to mind our business, but it seems like the more we mind our business, the more we get fucked with. Yeah, and I'm just seeing all kind of videos just circulating. I'm like, I, I'm exhausted. I'm like, I can't watch all this. There's literally enough footage of police brutality on black people. You can sit there and watch it for 24 hours. Yeah. You ain't gotta play nothing. Just run the damn run, tape. Run the exactly. tape. Exactly. It's, it's crazy. It is. I'm, from three years ago, I never heard of I'm like, yo, I, 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 I get exhausted from it, honestly, and I just like, I can't watch this. I'm not another one. Because so much shit happens that we kind of, you know, we, we deal with it and we get over it because that's, un, unfortunately, we as black people, that's what we're used to doing. We deal with it then we get over it. It's like the lynchings back in slavery. They was used to that shit. Like yep. Someone got hung today. They threw a picnic. And you yep. just kind of on it. And then the next day, y'all just... Went about business. Business as usual. And, yeah. it, and it was the same thing for the slaves. When somebody got lynched, it was like, you know, they, they kind of mourned, did their little thing, but... And the pride, the cycle day, still went on. Yep. Next day, right back to business. And... This 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 whole thing made me um, because you know I usually unfortunately I try to uh, avoid these things or these type of commentaries. Like I won't watch the video. Like when that video of Nipsey getting murdered was going around, I didn't watch that. There are certain videos I won't watch because I don't like that energy on me, and I didn't want to even talk about this, but. It really, it really touched my spirit because I was like, "Yo, the fact that that cop had his knee on this man's neck, mm-hmm. and know he's being recorded. You know how much arrogance you gotta have to know that you're doing something wrong. You're being just recorded right and there, just looking at the camera too. Like yeah, what that, that just shows you white privilege in a, in a grand scheme because this man knows he's doing something wrong. He's looking dead at the camera, like I don't give a fuck because he knows he's not gonna get in trouble for it." Yeah, it pissed me off even more. Not to, to take away from the man's life, rest in peace to George Floyd. The people did something courageous that I thought was dope. They didn't do that marching bullshit. We still overcome. They went to this man's house. They put murderer and you know they kind of like vandalized his driveway. And yeah. everyone was standing in front of his house. Don't you know the fucking cops lined up like fuck, like a hundred police officers to protect his home? I'm like, come on. Now that's why I don't believe he's really terminated. They say he's terminated, right? Why the fuck they, still, they still protecting him. Yeah, like that's the shit that bothers people. It's like y'all put police on a pedestal like they are above and beyond everyday tax paying citizens. We our taxes pay pay your bills. Right. You're not protecting and serving us. And like yet and still y'all treat us like like scum, like right. the dirt on the bathroom floor. 
and then they got they gave him protection. I'm like, wow. So I already kind of know where this is going. And like I said, if you think the outrage is crazy now, wait till they, they, they should go to trial. And get the same right. Old. If it go if it goes to trial, because he was fired, but has he been charged? Mm, I'm not sure. See, because it was it was four of them, right? It was yeah. him and three other cops. Yeah, he should be charged. But I mean, look, I agree. A lot of Darren Young was charged. Uh, there's a lot of niggas that get charged. You charge it to the game, but do you actually do time? That's different. And if right. he does time, um, what they'll do is they'll give him a slap on the wrist. You'll get like three, four years. Like that white girl in Dallas killed that man in his apartment. She got three years, and judge gave her a hug. And, yeah. Uh, his brother forgave her. Yeah. Uh, so we gotta get. We gotta stop all that. 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 Fucking oh no violence. And, We're too forgiven. Yeah, and I, I I made a video and I was like I know this is gonna be controversial because Michael Porter Jr. NBA player he said that we should pray for the family of George Floyd to pray for the police officers too. I said nah, bro. We what? we don't niggas like you on the battlefield with us. It's too many. Nah. And I blame religion on it a lot. I'm like that's totally what it is. Yeah, Christianity is crazy. How two people. How white people worship the same God as you, but Christianity has never hindered them for their hatred for black folks. Exactly. Go to church and then burn the house down and hang you the same night. <laughs> and and not only that, you guys are so hell bent on this religion, right? Where the fuck was God those four hundred years when y'all was out there picking cotton? Yeah, see, I it even took, get that. Yeah. It it took for people to be like, fuck this shit. I ain't doing this no more. We out mm-hmm. for motherfuckers for something to change. It wasn't God came down and said, "Hey, you know what yeah. y'all should do? Y'all should probably leave." Look, it's more y'all than it is them. Why don't you go and freaking yeah. attack them? None they of that. Because of business, you know the, the yeah. North. Yeah, if it wasn't for business and Lincoln, they should probably still be going on. So. But they they still, I mean, shit, they want to do it right now. Like if you look at yeah. the, <laughs> the prison uh, industrial complex, like that's just oh, modern day slavery. It's it's overpopulated. They put you got they put more money in prisons than they do schools. Yep. And I went to some of the worst schools in New York that you would think of. Nigga, we had no lockers. We had we had to share textbooks. But Rikers Island, they put all the money in the prison system. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because they figured, fuck it, don't give them an education. You're gonna end up over here yeah. anyway. Most of y'all niggas gonna end up there anyway. Did you see the riots? Yeah, I was um I was looking at that. Um that was my next uh point. The um the riots in in in, in Minneapolis, they uh ran up in the target. Mm-hmm. They 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 ran up in the target, looted it, and then burnt that bitch down. Yeah, I heard they burnt down. I seen a few videos. It looked like they burnt the whole fucking it looked like they burnt the city down. Like, it looked like Yeah, they, no, they, they 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 over there wilding. And you yeah. know what? It's like the things that I've been seeing online, because it it um, this whole situation sparked riots in Memphis and Los Angeles. Yeah, LA, yeah. Outside of Minneapolis, so those three towns, like there's you know people are outside, and I kind of called this like about a week or two ago. I said there's going to be some civil unrest pretty soon because people, first of all, people are going broke, and second of all, you're not really giving us any other option, and third of all, y'all are still killing us. Yeah. Like in a time where we should all be coming together as the American people, we yeah. as black people still are being treated less That's, than. And what's been the whole gimmick through this whole fucking pandemic? We're in this together, right? Yeah. No, yeah. we ain't. <laughs> I don't understand why the America's arrogance is like y'all think y'all can really have police officers kill black people on camera, and we're not supposed to retaliate. We're not supposed to say nothing. You're supposed to stay put, keep your business to yourself. Mm-hmm. And- just go on about your day. I mean, eventually you, you keep pushing people. Eventually they got to push back. So you yeah. got a bunch of frustrated black people with no leadership, no no guidance. There's no leadership in any of these riots. I mean, my son was out there in Minnesota, um, yeah. but there's no real leadership. So you got a bunch of wild, angry young niggas. Of course they're going, you know, it's right. like when you're mad and you punch a hole in the wall or you slam something, you just, it's just uh, like, unorganized frustration. So, I mean, I don't blame them for, for tearing shit up. I just wish they would focus it on the police station, tear that shit up. Right. But unfortunately, they can't because that's like a fortress. They know they go anywhere near there. These motherfuckers going to be out there with the... I mean, and they, they did show up with tear gas, 
yeah. guns and all of that other shit. And the crazy part is that the police didn't have the same energy about a month ago when all yeah, of the white right. people came outside talking about some, I want to go outside with their uh-huh. guns and shit. It was all black it. people. We ain't got no guns. We over yeah. here with our hands and our fucking anger. Throwing and, rocks at cars. Right, throwing rocks. And y'all got to come out with tear gas and fucking Now, what they're saying that, that white people weren't being violent and they weren't looting. And that's, that's what they'll tell you. That's what they'll say as far as their defense. They weren't doing anything. They were just protesting peacefully. So I guess we got to come outside with our guns. So I'm saying, I'm like Martin Luther King and them protested peacefully. And y'all still hit him in the head with a rock. A, like, but that wasn't people. even a rock. That was a stone. Yeah. Oh, clocked the shit out of him. All that shit. Martin kept on walking. I'd have been like, nah, fuck that. That little white boy would have got stomped out with them uh, fucking yeah. church shoes on. Are you an MLK nigga or a Malcolm X nigga? You know what I mean? Exactly. But there's a lot of people out here right now with that no violence, uh, just keep, I'm like that. That formula of no violence and just praying is the same formula we've had forever, and it's gotten us nowhere. And I right, because it, it's split on Twitter right now. Yeah, you gotta fight hate with love. I'm like, we've been doing that. <laughs> we've been doing that. It's like got, people, people yeah. on Twitter having like mixed emotions about the rioting and the looting. Some people are like, uh, you know. Target is insured all the way down to the wall fixture. So looting and burning them down isn't going to do anything. Uh, what else? Uh, burning down your town. Is, oh, who is that 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 chick? Uh, Tommy Lauren or whatever? Tommy Lauren says that? Yeah, she said, um, she said, what is Rob looting and burning down your town going to do? Absolutely nothing. And somebody responded, well, when we peacefully took a knee, y'all had a problem with that. And yeah. I was like, Goddamn right. Like the target target. You know what Minnesota has the biggest mall in the world, Mall of America. Burn that motherfucker down. I bet you does <laughs> I bet you you'll fucking piss some people off mm-hmm. then. No, I just my advice to people that's out here, just don't burn down any black businesses. Yeah. In your neighborhoods. Cause like I say, there's still black neighborhoods that never recovered from the sixty eight riots. Yeah, when, when Martin Luther King got killed, like Watts, California, and Detroit, some, some of those black neighborhoods, the city just never put any more money into those neighborhoods. They never invested back into them, and they just rotted out. And until this day, they're fucked up unless they just want to flip it and gentrify it. Right, you know? that's the only time the hoods ever get any sort exactly. of love and attention is when yeah. they, they want to gentrify it, out. like yeah, come in like, and, and buy the properties cheap. Mm-hmm. Just be careful. Increase, Say, if you ruin the whole shit, they are not gonna fucking help build it up. Like they are yeah. like, we're gonna be on on our own, which which might I mean, if depending on who we have, right? Like as far as um celebrities that wanna, you know, invest as they like to say, like that this would be the time. Like go in and help build up these black communities that have gotten destroyed. Like other than just mm-hmm. be like do it for yourself, do it for other people. Like sometimes people don't even want you to just put money in their pocket. Freaking give them a better living condition. Yeah, because that's more. Because like I said, it's like teaching a person how to fish versus buying them fish. You know. Right. Give me money once, but it'll teach me how to make it, and I'll be fine for life.